This is a patient with a history of lung cancer who comes in for restaging. As we scroll downwards, a few incidental findings, including renal cysts over here in this patient, but really don't see a lot uh, to suggest that there's metastatic disease of the abdomen or pelvis. However, when we look at the kidneys, uh, we do notice that uh, there's some abnormality, not within the parenchyma itself that uh, is of concern, but surrounding the parenchyma and the perinephric fat. Look at this right kidney over here. You notice that the left kidney is touching the psoas muscle um, as it should on the left side. On the right side, there's increased fat in this location. There's an increased spacing between that psoas muscle and the right kidney. And if you look at the fat as well, um, it's not very clean. It looks like it has little strands and areas of fat stranding within it. Uh, as you go downwards, that sort of distance between the kidney and the psoas muscles becomes more accentuated, especially when you compare it to the left side. And with all these areas of uh, stranding and septations within it, as you go downwards as well, you can start to see that the uh, fat inferior to the kidney also looks uh, very complex with septations, a little bit of fluid and stranding. And you can also appreciate how it's displacing loops of bowel. Look at that uh, ascending colon here displaced anteriorly as opposed to the descending colon, which is located in its proper location. And so these findings are, are a little bit subtle, but uh, certainly uh, increased fat in that location. It looks very complex. Um, and when you see that, one of the things you need to be worried about is a primary retroperitoneal sarcoma, specifically a liposarcoma. Uh, this region was biopsied, and this indeed turned out to be a liposarcoma in this patient.